Happy Saturday. How y'all doing? Uh, getting kind of a late start. It's 10 a.m. Uh, woke up at like 5 this morning. Was going out to make coffee and I uh, thought oh, I'll do my video early this morning. And uh, the friggin' power was out. I mean, nothing. So uh, that didn't happen. So I just came on about an hour ago, but my phone was dead. Because I guess it had been out most of the night, so I had to kind of charge my phone up. But anyways, here I am, having a little Cafe du Monde this morning, getting a late start. Uh, I think for today's shiv, I'm going to use my uh, uh, Maggard's slant head. And I paired that up with my uh, Olivina bamboo handle. I thought that was kind of cool looking. Right there, you can kind of get a look at it. It's got... Uh, Pretty good uh, blade exposure and a pretty good gap. I don't know if you can see the gap there or not, if the camera's picking that up or not, but that's that baby right there. Slant head used this the other day. And uh, man, nice shade, worked really good. I did gouge myself pretty good right there on the chin. But uh, that's just operator error. But anyways, uh, thought we'd give this a go this morning. Um, I got a feather blade in there. This will be the third use on that bad boy. And uh, for my soap, I'm going with my... What did I do with it? I had... Oh, it's right here in front of me. had my, my Vanulay Spicy Bomber. Great stuff. Love this. Uh, I've used it uh, several times before, but uh, awesome soap. Pick up some Vanulay if you haven't got any. Uh, it's nice stuff. And I got it. I got it. Going here in the granite shade bowl got a little got a little wet this morning, but that's okay. I I like it that way anyway. So uh, let's see what we can do with that. I got a little uh, coconut oil and tea tree oil going on my face for pre-shave. So let's just see what we can get in into here this morning. Cold back here in this bathroom, so I got this hooded sweatshirt on, so I'm not sure how shaving with a hooded sweatshirt is going to work out, but I thought we'll give it a go. This bathroom's kind of at the back side of the house, and uh, there's a bedroom back here. We don't, uh, I keep it kind of closed off. We don't heat back here because there's nobody ever back here. Hardly ever. This is just where I do my shaving videos, basically. Had a good time at the coast last week. Beautiful weather. It's been uh, been really nice here in the northwest. It's been clear and cold. Uh, not a cloud in the sky. Lots of sunshine. Just not very warm. All right, a little heat in this bad boy. Give this a try. Definitely got some aggression going on there. Oh yeah, man, it just mows those whiskers down. I don't know if you can see it in that soap, but got with it pretty good. This is definitely a uh, Aggressive razor. You can feel that blade. It's not uncomfortable. It's just aggressive. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys was this thing has zero overhang. I mean, there is no overhang on that bad boy. It's smooth as a baby's behind. I got soap everywhere. Isn't it? Thank you. 
treading lightly with this thing because that's right where I got myself last week. <laughs> pretty nice. Um, I got a little clip of the uh, camping trip last week at the coast. I'm going to uh, cut out of here and uh, I'll throw that in there and I'll come back for uh, pass two ready to roll after you watch uh, that clip. Thanks. Hey guys, back for uh, pass two with the slant. Hope you enjoyed the little uh, beach clip. Uh, moved the mount of the phone down a little bit. It was uh, a little high. It seemed like it was really high, so we'll give this a shot. Anyways, uh, let's go with pass two against grain here with the uh, slant head razor from Maggots with the feather blade. Hope you guys are doing good. Had a good week. Watched some good videos this week. I started watching a gentleman. Uh, his name is uh, Gino. I believe he pronounces his name Sonier. It's S-O-N-I-E-R. Uh, Gino, I apologize if I butchered your last name, but I think it's Sonier. Uh, you guys should check him out. I've seen a few of you on his page already. Uh, on his channel. Man, he's got a ton of gear. DEs, straights, lots of straights, lots of shave ads. I mean, this guy's got, he's got Jeffrey Smith-like shave ads. I mean, he's got them all over the place. Uh, really interesting. Um, definitely check his channel out. It's uh, just under his name, G-I-N-O-S-O-N-I-E-R. <clears throat> All right. I'll tell you what, man, this thing really gets after it. I totally could have walked away with one pass. It's only my second time using this thing, so I am uh, going easy. Eh, got myself a little bit right there. Cool, let me rinse this off real quick. Bear with me for a minute. See how that feels? Oh yeah, not bad. Yeah, I had a little weeper or something going on there, but I'm all right. Dry this off real quick. Well, I don't know if I said, but I used the Sagrada Familia brush 
with the uh, 24 millimeter knot. Great little brush, probably my favorite brush. Kind of seems to be my workhorse. Use it most of the time. Little uh, bears, cucumber. was at Target the other day and I noticed they had uh, coconut water there. So I thought, man, I might have to try that. That's one I haven't tried. Um, they have quite a bit of stuff, actually. Quite a bit of men's stuff there at Target. I was uh, uh, a wee bit surprised about all the stuff they carry. Pretty cool. Alright. So we're going to finish this shave off with my... 4711 and I think that's probably one of the coolest bottles I've seen it's just really really interesting bottle it's got a great label on it uh, it's got like a seal on it right there and it's got 4711 embossed on the cap and it's embossed see it on the back of the bottle right there just a really cool bottle I mean I don't know how great the product inside the bottle is but the freaking bottle is pretty awesome uh, definitely the coolest looking bottle I got in my lineup of stuff but I'm gonna give this a one shot now this is a cologne and I know you're probably not supposed to throw a cologne in there and put it on like aftershave but I didn't put much on there just a little bit Oh yeah, nice stuff's got to, to me it's kind of, uh, I don't know, a little bit citrusy and floral or something, I don't know, it's nice stuff, but it's got like a restrictor on there so it doesn't come out very heavy, but throw a little bit more on there. Cool, well hey guys, thanks for joining me, uh, again I went with the, uh, Maggard's slant head razor on the Olivina bamboo handle with the uh, feather blade in there. Uh, Vanillet spicy bomber, great stuff. Uh, if you haven't tried Vanillet, go get you some. Uh, you won't be disappointed. We went with the Sagrada Familia brush from Yaki. And we finished it off with uh, Thayer's and uh, 4711 from Germany. Nice stuff. Anyways, guys, uh, Leave a comment, say hi. Love to talk to you guys in the comments. Um, hey, go have a good weekend. Enjoy what's left of it. And uh, I will see you all down the trail.